If you read the About Me section on the side of my channel page, one of the things it says is that I don't have a lot of money to be purchasing a lot of gear. However, I'll review the gear that I do have and have been using for years. And of course, I am able to pick up some new stuff uh, here and there, but this is something that I've had for years. In fact, uh, gosh, how long have I had this? It's been over 10 years. So is this exact model going to be out there? Probably not, but are there other items that are just like this out there or very similar? I bet there still is. In fact, I did a quick little search on the internet and I found uh, several that seem to be quite similar to this. And what this is, is this is a Uncle Mike's. And why do I say Uncle Mike? Well, Uncle Mike is a very affordable brand. And um, what little Uncle Mike stuff that I have, it's actually been very good to me. Like I said, this is over 10 years. You've got Velcro there. You can see it's collected quite a bit of stuff up there. But the Velcro still works very, very well. It's not as good as it was the day I bought it, but uh, it is good. But the point of doing this review is, again, not this exact uh, mag holder specifically, but in general, what these type will do for you. And currently what I'm using this for in my EDC is to carry a recently purchased from my wife for Christmas, a Leatherman Blast. So you can see this Leatherman Blast fits right in there, fits snug. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to bring down the Leatherman Blast holder that it came with. I think it sucks. Anyway, that's why I'm using this. And the way I'm using this on my belt, or on my, uh, yeah, on my belt, I guess, is you can put it in this way, so it rides in kind of a traditional manner, or you can actually turn it, and you can run the belt lengthwise, this way and that's how I'm using it so it sits on my belt like that and when I bend over and uh, move around at work I've got to climb in these machines quite a bit and work around these machines and it uh, is very nice to use that way because it's not this way and I'm not you know getting pinched by it anyway I hardly notice that it's there but will it fit the Leatherman Blast yes I've just shown you it will but Will it fit the Manix 2 by Spyderco? Yes, it will. Now that's a little bit snug, but it goes in there quite well. Folds down very nice. Now, you know, I don't know how many of you want to carry this type of knife, a folder inside a pouch. I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose, but I'm just showing you for um, demonstration purposes. And I don't know, maybe there are a few guys out there who want to for some reason or another. And what else will it carry? How about the Phoenix LD10? This has got to be a one of my favorite flashlights that I have. Not that I have a lot, but I love this little light. In fact, I've been EDCing this quite a bit. You can see it's uh, it's getting its use. Anyway, maybe you want to carry your flashlight in there. Will it fit? Yes. And it's not going to come out. You're running around doing whatever you're doing it's going to stay in there real well. How about the how about A 1911 mag? Yes, it will. Now the mag, a 1911 mag is thin, so you can see there's going to be some play back and forth. So you will have to uh, if you're going to be out running around out in the desert shooting or out in the mountains or whatever it is you do, you will have to have this top down over it. So in order to access it, you're going to have to do that Velcro and pull it out. So uh, an EDC item to carry a 1911 mag with this folded down, uh, I don't know, you'll have to be the judge of that. Okay, it fits a 1911 magazine, but what about a Glock magazine? So we have a single stack and we have a double stack here. Yes, it will. And the Glock magazine, or a double stack magazine, will actually fit quite snug. And if you don't like this flap over it, could you cut it off? Yes, however, I wouldn't recommend that. What you can do is if you're going to carry it with your belt running through this, 
you can just take this, fold it, stuff it in between, and it works just fine. So if you're looking for a maybe a cheaper alternative for a mag holster, you know, going to the range, this would be perfect because it fits a whole gamut of different mags and different items, so it becomes very usable. Uh, how about a Phoenix LD20? This is a great light too. I actually like the LD10 better because of its size, but will it fit this? Mm, no, not quite so much. But just to give you an idea of kind of its range. So the LD20 in its length, just a little bit big. And I, I don't, for me personally, I don't think I'd carry like this. Too much slop going on in there. But it is extremely versatile for one piece of gear. Some, something like this I think is uh, invaluable. Especially if you're looking for something, one, inexpensive. And two, that's going to work on... A whole bunch of different items it's just great it's fantastic so again is this specific model out there probably not but uh, I'm sure there are models out there like that just to give you a little idea I have had this well over 10 years and you can see it's starting to fray a little bit on the edges but you can see it's been used and but guys, for as many years as I've got out of this thing and for how well it's holding up, these two, you think these might stretch out over time and they've held up fantastic. So anyway, this is something that I've, I've really enjoyed having around. And while I kind of prefer a dedicated mag holder for a uh, EDC type of roll or for a concealed carry type of roll, this does work. But the advantages to this is that it'll take your 1911s, it'll take your double stacks, um, you know, especially if for just range use or going out plinking or something. It's uh, fantastic for that. So, anyway, I thought I'd pass this along. You might be looking for something that has a, a variety of uses for one purchase. Something like that would be right up your alley.